Drainage plan for that Central 70 project had crews removing 30% of the trees from Denver's lovely City Park golf course, but now they're being reused. Our Tori Mason on that story tonight. And Tori, the construction company and school kids giving those trees new life, huh? They are. Nearly 300 trees were cut down despite people fighting to keep them alive. Daryl Anderson is an artist and a person who lives in that neighborhood. He saw those trees go down, so he came up with a way to give them new life. It might look like shop class is making a comeback. You want more wood? But at St. Elizabeth's, it's just another branch of art. All the wood that they use, they recycled. So now the wood that is left over, we're using to make crafts. Donated supplies from paint to beads allowed these students to spruce up the wood. But don't worry, a professional took care of the sawing. Being an artist, how could I repurpose the trees? What better way to repurpose them to the students? Anderson brings the wood to schools around the city. Then it's all up to the students. I don't know how I'm going to incorporate it yet, but I think I'm going to make it as the top piece for it. We're here to mourn the fact that the city made this decision. City Park residents still mourn the loss of those century-old trees. I still hear from neighbors, you know, Daryl, those trees were the best deal in Dodge. But he says many are happy to learn they're in much younger hands. No. The moment they get it, they're uh, not through the table, right? Now, to make up for those trees lost, more than 700 new ones will be planted around the golf course. In about 10 years or so, they'll make up for the canopy that was lost during construction. We're live in Denver. Tori Mason covering Colorado first. Very nice. Thanks, Tori. You'll see more inspiring stories like that one on Together with Karen Lee in less than 30 minutes.